I was getting into my car and noticed there was a, some really nasty vile language coming out from an individual against a, what appeared to be a, a student, an Asian student. It's really derogatory, the use of the P word and, you know, sort of shouting about, hadn't you seen the vote? I was just paralysed in fear, Nick. I mean, you know me, he's hard in journalist. It takes a lot to really, um, you know, sort of upset me. And then obviously, then he turned his attentions to me and started, um, well, basically, he said, you know, nigger, go home. Gosh, that is really strong stuff. How did you react to that? Well, he, he just kept shouting, like, nigger and nigger and, well, you know, you're not supposed to be... Is... Oh, gosh, yeah, definitely. Have you ever had that before? Never. Sorry. Uh, no. Sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm actually shaken as well to hear it. And you weren't planning to report it, were you? But no, change your mind. No, no. Um, I literally was such in shock and there were people walking past, but I think they just didn't know what to do. Mm. And I... I wasn't going to report it because I just think the police are so busy. You, know, you hear that you know they've got so much more on their plate, and it was people on the social network that said you must report it. And I'm so glad I did because the police have been absolutely fantastic, Nick. And anyone who thinks the police do not take what is a hate crime seriously, they they do. And um, it, it was just I've, you know I've lived in this country. I'm proud. I was going to say you couldn't be more British, <laughs> could you? Yeah, and I, I don't think Coventry is a racist city at all. I just think. This one individual just seemed so full of hate, Nick. He was, he was incessant with rage, both at the student and at me. It's really shaking you up. Yeah, isn't it? telling us to go home, and I don't like using the N word, and I haven't heard it directly to me, but it was, it was shocking. Trish, thanks for coming to speak to us anyway.